Hello guys, welcome to another episode of MMC 2017 Grade 10 Level. So let's answer again this problem. So the problem goes like this. The first term of a geometric sequence is 10 and its third term is 20. What is the fifth term? So as we all know, a geometric sequence has this formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r or the common ratio raised to n minus 1. However, if we look at the problem, if we analyze, we have our first term 10. This is our a sub 1. But we don't have the second term or a sub 2. And we have again another in the given, we have the third term, which is 20. So why did I uh, put it like this? So that we know that the sequence uh, has a missing term, so that we, uh, we will be able to solve for the common ratio, because the formula for common ratio is succeeding term divided by the previous term. So now, uh, succeeding term is the a sub 2 if we divide it by a sub 1 we don't know still we cannot have or we cannot solve for the common ratio now we will do another thing before we solve for the common ratio and that is to solve for the geometric mean or the term in between the other two geometric uh, terms in a geometric sequence so what's the formula we just need to multiply the two numbers so geometric mean of a geometric sequence is just the product of the two numbers 10 and 20 so therefore the gm of this will be square root of 200 now what's the square root of 200 this is just 100 times 2. So therefore, we have our GM is just what's the square root of 100? That is 10. And then we have square root of 2. So this is our GM. That's the number in the middle. So 10 square root of 2. Now, we can now solve for the common ratio because we have now the second term so r is succeeding term that is 10 square root of 2 divided by the previous term which is 10 we can cancel this out and therefore our common ratio is square root of 2 now our formula is now complete we will just substitute everything in the formula that we have so a sub 5 because we're looking for the fifth term our a sub 1 is of course given which is 10 that's the first term times our r is square root of 2 and then our n is 5 because we are looking for the fifth term so 5 minus 1 now we have a sub 5 is equal to 10 times square root of 2 raised to the fourth power and what is square root of 2 raised to the fourth power it simply means that we have square root of 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 and if we multiply this, this is just 2. If we multiply this, this is just 2. And 2 times 2 gives us 4. Alright? So therefore, square root of 2 raised to the 4th power is just equivalent to 4. Okay? So now, after that, we'll just multiply 10 times 4. So a sub 5, therefore... It's just simply 10 times 4, and our answer is 40. 
and we are done. See you on the next video.